Latasha LaVon Harlins was born on January 1st, 1976 to her mother, Crystal Harlins, and her father, Sylvester Acoff. Growing up with her younger brother and sister, they lived in East St. Louis, Illinois, till about 1981 when Latasha was five. The family moved to Los Angeles, California. Her father got a job working in the steel industry and her mother, she was working at a local tavern. Now, it's alleged that her dad used to beat up her mom a lot and eventually they end up getting divorced in 1983. But sadly, just two years after that, Latasha's mother would be murdered outside of a nightclub by her ex-husband, Latasha's dad, his new girlfriend. She shot Latasha Harlan's mom, Crystal Harlan's, killing her. And the dad, he abandoned the children. You know, he had already had a strained relationship with them anyways. And after the mother died, he just disappeared. And this would lead to Latasha going to live with her grandmother. Now, it's alleged that Latasha began to have issues at school and she began to be a troubled teen and things of that nature. But honestly, I think part of that was they wanted to paint a certain narrative of Latasha to make her look bad, to make the tragedy that ended up happening to her to make it more palatable. So I think that they put those things out there about her. But even if she did have a few issues, I mean, she lost her mom when she was incredibly young. Her dad abandoned her and she was living in Los Angeles, California in the 1980s. So I guarantee you she had probably seen a few things. You know, she was a student at Westchester High School. And in my opinion, I believe that Latasha was probably just a regular 15 year old girl. But. Her life would come to a tragic end on the morning of March 16, 1991, when she entered the Empire Liquor Store, being staffed by a woman named Soon Jadu. Now, usually it would be her son working or her husband, but her husband was off like taking a nap or something like that. And it was also another witness in there, a woman by the name of Lakeisha Combs. And now at this time, she was 12 years old and she was in there with her brother, who was seven years old at the time. She witnessed the whole thing. She said Latasha came into the store, went, grabbed a bottle of orange juice. She did put it in her backpack, but she put it in a way where it was obviously noticeable. And she had money in her hand ready to pay. But she said that soon Jadu began to yell at Latasha and saying that she's stealing, even though she was obviously just trying to pay the woman. Once Latasha gets to the counter, a physical altercation occurs where Latasha strikes the woman. The woman throws a chair at her and Latasha tries to just walk away from the whole situation. But for some reason, this woman felt like it was necessary to grab the gun that her husband kept under the counter and use it to shoot 15 year old Latasha Harlins in the back of the head. I was gonna put a clip of the video in this video, but I it was hard for me to watch it and I just don't wanna put other people through it. If you wanna check it out, you can, it's on YouTube. And what makes it even more crazy is that Latasha Harlins was murdered just two weeks after the Rodney King incident when he was beaten by four LAPD officers. Rodney King and Latasha Harlins would serve as the catalyst to the 1992 L.A. riots because the city of Los Angeles was already bubbling. And after the verdicts came down for these two cases, the city would boil over because in the Rodney King case, all the police officers charged were all acquitted. And in the Latasha Harlins case, Soon Jadu was convicted of voluntary manslaughter and sentenced to 10 years in prison, but it was on a suspended sentence. She had to pay a $500 fine and she had to do community service. She, ba she basically got off scot-free. She never spent a day in jail for taking a life of Latasha Harlins. And y'all want to know what's even more strange is that around the same time, there was a post a postman who spent six months in jail 
for shooting a dog that was trying to attack him. And there was another man who had kicked his dog out in public and people called the police on him and he spent 30 days in jail. But soon Jadu didn't spend a single day in jail for taking the life of Latasha Harlins. And, you know, I just wanted to make a video about her because I want her legacy to live on and I don't want people to ever forget what happened to her, her life being taken in such a cold, just ridiculous way. And something good did occur recently. They raised a mural in the honor of Latasha Harlins in Los Angeles. And they did it on what would have been her 45th birthday. Latasha Harlins family did end up receiving a settlement from the insurance company that covered Soon Jadu's convenience store. They end up paying $300,000 to them. But guess what, y'all? Latasha Harlins dad who hadn't seen her since she was about seven or eight years old, came back into the picture saying that he should be the sole inheritor of Latasha Harlan's money because he's her dad. I mean, he took the family to court and everything, y'all. Luckily, the judge ruled against him and he got nothing. But Latasha Harlan's died in a tragic, senseless way. And she was only 15 years old, man. Rest in peace, Queen.